I'm Ethan Kwan, and today I'm going to be showing you uh, what my top 10 favorite cube, um, hardest cube to solve are. Um, I, I haven't made a video, uh, top 10 video since I, um, since, uh, since when I started this YouTube channel. So, let's, so that's what I'm making. So, so my, my video will consist from the easiest to hardest to solve and all the ones in between and there will be top it's the top 10 hardest cubes to solve and i have like 32 cubes to solve um it's cut kind of, this is going to be kind of like my cube collection video um just with less less um um i guess less less uh less cubes i guess so uh, without further ado let's get started okay so for my top 10 videos um i mean cubes <laughs> um for my top 10 cubes right here is the hardest to easiest and the easiest is right the easiest is right here so what what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be starting from easiest to hardest so i'm gonna do this one this one last so um i mean this one last so let's start with the easiest one which is my cube well in the top 10 it's the easiest not in the top let's say 30. um but this is my easiest in the top 10. so sorry there we go Okay, so my cube has just rotations like that. And our, so right now it's solved, obviously, because it's the easiest in the top 10. Um, we don't have to, I don't have to really say anything about this, but still, that's my first one. The cool thing is that it doesn't have four, it doesn't have four times to turn, it only has three like that um my next easiest is my mini three by three so it actually turns <laughs> um and why is this hard because it's mini so let's say uh let's say compared to uh average kind of sharpened pencil it's about this big see it's about that big or compared to uh, uh, compared to your uh, compared to your average three by three, it's about one block. See, so it's pretty small actually. Ugh, sorry, it's pretty small actually. So, so that's why it's hard. So, uh, that's it about this mini cube um okay my next hardest to solve is this and actually this doesn't really have a solved position i just made it into an iphone stand or ipad stand whichever one you have so so um this doesn't really have a solved position but this one's pretty hard Okay, so now this one, and this has the piece in it. Hold on. And what is this? I have no idea. So it just slides around like this. And I'll just show you my solve time. Um. Hold on, I'm not solving it, I'm mixing it up right now. Okay, it's most likely gonna fast forward once I start solving it, so. So you'll know when I start solving. Oh, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, there we go, now it's mixed up. You know what, let me just get back into its position like that. And, Go.
Okay, so it's solved. And let me just put this piece back in. Okay, so that was about my solve time. Fast forward, as you saw. Um, it's pretty hard, actually. Um, but I don't think I have anything more to say about that. So let me just move on to the next one. It's my 5x5. Five five. So my 5x5 five five is pretty easy to... It's pretty hard to solve. Well, not really, but... Kind of, I guess. As you can see right now, it's in the super flip position. As you can see. Yay, super flip. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, so, that's my next hardest cube. And my next hardest is my void cube. Um, yeah, it's a void cube. Void. Void. Void the void cube. So, it turns like this. It's cool how it turns because it has no centers, unlike the normal three by three, it has no centers. So, it's pretty cool how it turns. Let me just go back out. Okay. Um, that's all about my uh, uh, void cube. Okay. So next hardest is this, uh, I have no idea what it's called. It's this, I guess you can say. Um, I have no idea how to solve it. Uh, if you do, um, please let me know in the comments, but I have no idea how to solve it. Um, if, you, if you do have a tutorial on how to solve this cube, I guess you can say. Um, if you have a tutorial on how to solve this cube, um, please let me know also in the comments and I'll check out your channel and try and find Try and find that video. Just send me a link of where I can find that video or something like that I don't really care. Okay So that was that I have no idea what it's called again and next one is this cube um, I have no idea what this is called. I think it's like the Fisher cube or something. And this is pretty easy to solve, but still harder than, than let's say the void cube or the five by five. Um, and it's actually pretty cool. Not only it turns like that and like that and like that, it also turns on these axes and it does that and shape shifts right cool so so that's why i like it okay so my next one is my seven by seven uh, you can count the layers if you want it's a seven by seven um here one two three four five six seven so i pretty i like this cube because it's fun and I can make a pattern on it. Let's say. Heart. So it's a heart on every side, but I'm not gonna fix it right now. Um, but I like this cube because it, you can make a bunch of patterns on it and it doesn't really mess up. So, as you can see, my layer by layer technique worked, as as always. <laughs> um, but see, this is a heart, and I can empty out this middle part, I guess, if you wanted to, like here and here and here and here and here. Why don't I do that now? Okay, there we go. I guess I can empty out that piece too. Okay, there we go. That's the heart pattern without the insides. I think the inside with the heart looks better, but still, um, I like this too. Okay, I think that's all I can say about the uh, seven by seven. And my finally, my last and hardest. This is called the mini scoop. And why is it hard? Um, well, well, it's not really, 
I guess you can say hard hard I just can't find the right video for it if you can find the right video and solved one of these please let me know and this is the smaller version because it's a keychain version and it's pretty smooth actually see there's no clinking noise well except for the keychain if I hold the keychain like that there's no clinking noise but if I don't hold the keychain there is a clicking noise okay <laughs> Okay, so nothing I can say more about the uh, the skew could possibly add to this. Um, that I mean. Uh, so whenever I try to solve this, it always messes me up, and I don't like it. Well, it's not that I don't like it. I just don't I just don't like f solving it that's all and it's annoying because I can't solve it okay still okay so those are all my hardest cubes skewb to um, this I guess I'm just calling it this because it's annoying so this is my top 10 cubes you missed out on the fun let me just try and squeeze them together. Okay. Okay. See you at how to do stuff with Ethan .com. And see you in the intro. Uh, I mean, outro. Bye. Okay. So, I hope that um, simplified all my top 10 cubes from Scoob. And if you have a tutorial for the mini scoop, please let me know. Okay, so that's all my favorite cubes. I think, no, not my hardest cubes. I think the favorite is this one or this. Uh, let me just fix this. So it's solved now. And I have to eventually solve this too. But, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Um, but I do have to eventually solve this. The super flip. Okay. <laughs> Um, okay, that's all my cubes. And I could make a tiny little pattern on this one. <coughs> uh, excuse me. My hair, like, did this. Um, I have to make a pattern on this. Hold on. Spin, 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 spin. <laughs> okay, so see you at how to do stuff with Ethan.com. And, well, I guess I should do that because there's a light back there. See you next time. Bye.